Hello friend. I welcome you to my channel Let's Get Graphics and Multimedia. Uh, my name is Rafi Yako right here and in today's video you are going to learn how to create paper cut text effect in Corel Draw step by step tutorial. But before I dive into tutorial, if you are very new to this channel, remember to click on the subscribe. So with that being said, so let's dive into tutorial and see how you can create a paper cut text effect in Corel Draw. So let's be. First thing you need to do is to go to your toolbar, double click on your rectangle. This allow you to create a page border. Then you can come to color right here and fill it with gray, gray color. And then you can come down right here, click and hold down. This time around, you can choose your interactive fill. So having choose your interactive fill, make sure you choose fonting. Then from fonting, you can switch from fonting to radia right here. Okay. So right here, you can press shift key and drag. This allow you to, uh, extend the brightness more and more okay so you can come here and uh, you can change the color from this point here you can uh, let me just make it white okay i will use my eye color dropper and uh, i will make that point white 100 percent white right here i'm just going to select white okay so uh you can press shift key and drag and uh you're going to have something like this okay you can come down below here right click here to remove stroke now we have our background formatted properly next thing you need to do is to come down right here click and hold down this time around you have to choose your type text or you press f8 on your keyboard then you have to come to the workspace and make it type so this time around i'm going to type in paper so all in capital paper okay so i will have to go back to my tools bar right here and make sure i select my pick two then i will make sure i make it bold okay so make it bold and you can press shift key on your keyboard and drag this allow you to increase the font size like this okay you can press p to centralize and uh and then you can come to the top right here you can change the font style so this time around i'm going to use roboto black okay so one more thing you can do here once you change the font style you can uh easily come down below right here and make sure you click on here to remove fill and then you have to come to color palette right here right click on here this allow you to add a stroke color so you're going to have something like this okay and uh, you can press ctrl plus to zoom out and uh, letter h to the move tools and then uh, you can drag it in appropriate way now next thing you need to do is to go back to your tools bar right here and this time around you have to look for pen tools from the point here select your pen tools and then uh, you can make a straight part press shift key and uh, draw a straight part like this and press ctrl key down to cut next thing you want to do is to press the you select the text select the type to and uh, make sure you press shift key and select the stroke then you press letter c and e this allow you to align properly okay so next thing we're going to do right here is to come down below right here we have to click and hold down and this time around we have to choose smart fill Having to smart fill, you can begin to fill from one after the other this way and this way and fill this place, fill this place and fill this place. And you have to fill the bottom one also. Like this and this. All right, so we have them fill up, okay? So we have to select the top right here. Uh, we can uh, press shift key and select the second there. Uh, push shift key and make sure we select the third one and like that. And this one here. Then we have to come down below here. We right click on here to remove stroke. Then we have to come to the top right here. This time around, we need to look for wet okay so we have to wet them all together once we wet them together it become a single object so by the time i drag out you see it's going to be on a single object so next thing we can do right here is to 
just click once once you click this allow you to have a rotation pane then you can uh, you can slide the text in this manner uh, so you can just slide it based on how you want your paper cut to appear so once you're done with the top then you have to select the bottom then you press shift key and select the second sh uh, second shape and the third one the third letter and the very last letter okay now at this point here we have to come down below here right click on here to remove stroke then we have to come to the top right here this time around we have to look for where or so so once we wear it and it become a single object just like uh so by the time i drag it out right here you're going to see that it's going to be on a single object just like what you see next thing you need to do is to just click once this allow you to have a rotation pane then you have to slide also to the uh left side just like the way you do the top one so just slide a little bit so you are going to have a uh, stuff like this so if you satisfy with the way amana is slide then you are good to go then you have to fall back to this particular stroke and press the lead key on your keyboard because you don't need that again then the next thing you need to do is to select the background uh tire stroke so this time around you have to fill it with another color so i'm going to fill it with orange and then you have to come down below here right click on here to oh sorry about that so you have to uh come down here right click on here to you can press ctrl minus to zoom in now this time around we have to apply some color for the shape so the top one right here we can just select on the top and uh, we come to the color right here and make it 10 percent black and then we come to the bottom and then uh, we make sure we make it like uh 30 percent black so we're going to have something like this so next thing we need to do is to select the orange text okay so once you select the orange text you have to come to your toolbar right here this time around you have to click on hold down and make sure you choose shadow so having you choose your shadow you have to uh make sure that you work with your shadow preset from the top right here and you have to look for your shadow preferred so this time around i'm going to make sure i use my shadow preferred to be inner edge then you have to come to color right here you have to change the color so i'm going to use orange okay then I'm going to make sure the blend mode is set to be normal. Then I'm going to make sure that I check my inner shadow. Then I'm going to make sure that I increase the transparent. And then the feather, I make sure I increase it also to 27. Then I'll come to this point here and also make sure I increase it okay then i'll have to click on my uh move to then i will have to select everything this way and i'm going to press ctrl j to group then i can click once this allow me to have a rotation pane then we can slide and uh, adjust the type the way and manner we want it and uh, we have to select the text again and we press p to centralize then we have to press shift key on our keyboard and drag and uh, this allows us to increase the type then we can select on the background color and uh, we go back to our fountain fill right here and then we can just have to press shift key and drag it out a little bit so we're going to have more light from the background okay so we'll go back to our move to and uh, we'll press control minus to zoom in control minus to zoom in so you're going to have it in this way so this is how you can create paper cut text effect in Corel Raw step by step tutorial. I hope you guys find follow for this video. If you enjoyed this video, give this video a big thumb up and also 
Remember to subscribe to this channel for more tutorial like this in Corel Draw. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now. Now it's supposed to fit.